Sheets. Now we are going to learn about sheets in Revit. A sheet, as you probably expect, is a view for printing the drawings of a project. Sheets can be found in the project browser and if there isn't any one yet, we have to right click and create a new sheet. Then in the window that opens, we can choose one of these title blocks. Here you can see there are two models for two different sizes of paper, A3 and A1. Or we could just choose a blank sheet without any title block, this one called Known. I'm going to open the standard A1 sheet. And this is how it appears. Now, apart from these options, we can load the title block from the family libraries, here in Load. Then, where you have all the categories, there is a folder named Title Blocks. And then, you can see these ones to use in different paper sizes. Ah, and there is also a preview when we click in each title block. Anyway, let's go back to analyze the sample for an A1 paper. This sample, as you can notice in the logo here, is provided by Autodesk, and probably you want to create a personalized one, with your company brand, for example. But okay, we will see how to do this after. Now we are just going to look at the parameters that we can edit. First, we can rename the sheet title in the project browser. This window shows up and I can change either the number and the name. And look that they update automatically in the title block. Then we can edit the other parameters by clicking in each of them and put the name that we desire. Now, we are going to learn how to attach views to the sheet. As the title is Floor Plans, it's logical to add a floor plan here, of course. And you will notice that it's pretty basic. Just click and hold one of the floor plans and drag it inside the title block. So you can see it's very simple. Now, each view is composed by a title, in this case zero ground floor and view number one. Then where I have the drawing is the viewport. Basically, it's a window that shows everything that I have visible in that particular view. But now notice how the floor plan only fills one part of the viewport. The reason for that is because I have these elevation elements over there and the size of the viewport varies according with the area occupied by the drawing. Therefore, I'm going to switch to the ground floor plan and hide in view this category of elements. Now look, when I return to the sheet, the drawing stayed in the same position, but this time the viewport is smaller. Now it's adjusted just to the floor plan, as the elevations are now hidden. How can I edit the position of the viewport and the title? This is a bit tricky. By selecting the title, I can drag it to wherever I want. But if I want to shorten or stretch the line, I need to select the viewport instead. And now I can easily change the size of the line by moving these grips. Another important feature in every project drawing is the scale. And you can see that for this view is 1 per 100. It's just a scale that you adjust in the bottom of the screen in the view of the floor plan. Although, if I need a different scale, it's easy to change. Select a viewport, and in the properties the view scale is the first parameter. Change it to 1 per 50. And you can see all the dimensions change to double size. Also, notice that the scale in the title of the drawing, as well as in the title block, update automatically, and you don't need to worry about that. Finally, I only need to place the viewport according with the position of the line. Now, in a sheet, we can add more than one drawing. Remember that this sheet is called Floor Plans. 
And the reason is because I want to put both drawings of the ground floor and the first floor. So now I need the first floor and this time I will show you a different way to insert a view into a sheet. Go to the view tab and on the panel sheet composition I'm going to click on view and then you can see all these lists with all the views. Now I'm going to choose the floor plan first floor. This time you can see that the scale of this drawing is smaller, 1 per 100. And also the indication of the scale in the title block tells us to look at each drawing, as they are with different scales. I'm going to change the scale of the first floor to 1 per 50 like I did previously with the ground floor. And then you can notice that after changing the scale, these elevation elements are visible again. So I'm going to edit the view and I can do it by double click inside the viewport as with this I can have access to the view. Basically I can work like I was in the floor plan view. I can insert, delete or move elements. Anyway, I'm going to hide the sections from the view and the viewport is resized again to fit the visible area. Then I just need to move the viewport a bit down to be in line with the ground floor and the title with the line. I can snap with the one of the ground floor. In this way they look better. Now in the last part of this tutorial we will learn roughly how to modify one of these sheets that come by default with Revit. It's easy. Now you can double click in the title block and you realize that a new window opens. It's actually the family file for this specific title block. And there we can modify anything that we need in this family, in this case this title block. For example, could change the position of lines, erase them, create new ones, etc. As an example, let's get rid of the symbol of Autodesk and replace with a different one. I'm going to select it and press delete. Next, I'm going to insert an image from my computer and let's choose the logo of Cad in Black, this one. Ok. The image is now here and then I'm going to resize the image with the grips that I have here. Then I need a text next to the image in the tab create in the ribbon. I'm going to type cat in black, click on an empty space, then I click on modify to exit the command and I'm going to move the text to fit with the symbol. When the title block is ready, I have to save it. Go to File and save it as a family. Then choose a name for it and now we can use the title block when we need. Going back to our file again, then now if I want to create a new sheet with this template, just repeat the process that I showed you before, just do the normal process and load the family with the logo of Cadin Black. It's this one. Ok, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Cadin Black to watch the full list of tutorials for beginners in Rapid. There are also AutoCAD tutorials if you are interested. For now it's all, thank you very much and see you next time!